Good afternoon. Uh, today is January 31st. It's currently 3.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I received a word from the Lord at approximately 11.45 p.m. last night, January 30th. Um, the Lord did not give me a title for this word, but it is a, a warning for America. Um, that seems to be the focus as of lately. Um, I will say this, I have received numerous warnings over the course of two years now uh, for the nation of America. So he's given us plenty of time to repent. That being said, test every spirit, hold fast what is good. What that means is number one, um, you would test the spirit by the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit who now lives in you, if you are a born again child of God, is this word coming from you? Is there something that I need to do with the information that I've been given? Um, ask God to confirm or deny if this word is for you, if you need to repent of anything. Um, and you would do that in your own personal prayer time or while you are meditating on his word which we are commanded to do day and night here's what the Lord said things are going to get a lot worse people won't even have time to respond or react they will just have to comply with the new way of doing things the country will be run by rigid disciplinarians who thrive on power and control the comforts that America has become accustomed to, all the luxuries they have become so familiar with will be quickly pulled out from under them. People will be in shock by the next chain of events. Since America wants to take me out of everything, I will show them what that looks like. A nation that denounces me will lose the abundance they once had. I will cut off their water supply ration their food, remove my favor, my protection, and my provision. People will not even recognize this nation. It will be a shadow of its former self in every way. I am disgusted by their entitlement, their inflated sense of self, their ungratefulness, and venomous words. Their words are filled with cursing and perversion. There is no mercy in their hearts. They are selfish and ungrateful. No one is honest. Everyone lies, flatters their neighbor with empty words while cursing them behind their back. Many of who say they are for me despise me by their conduct. They are filled with hatred, vengeance, bitterness, murder, and retaliation. They hate the image they were created in. They are despised in their own eyes, full of criticism and slander. They justify their rebellion and say, I know their heart. I know their hearts are wicked, full of extortion and greed. I know their hearts are deceptive and hate the truth. I know their hearts plot and plan only evil continually, just like in the days of Noah. The men's eyes wander, never satisfied because of their insatiable lust. They cover their neighbor's wife, house, job, car, clothes, and they are never content. Their depravity has no limit. They prostitute their own children, sell their babies on the black market, force them on camera to do unspeakable things. They trade wives, sons, and daughters for the night for power, money, fame, and influence. Their hearts are sick, desperately wicked. They love what is evil and hate what is good. They despise correction. They have become gluttonous and excessive. They lie awake in their beds at night, plotting the most vile and wicked schemes. They will reap what they have sown. I will not spare the rod. I will judge them according to their deeds, and they will fall by the sword, pestilence, and famine. Diseases for which there are no cure will break out all over the land. 
people will panic as they watch their loved ones waste away and they still won't call on me for their hearts are hard as a stone and full of rebellion war will break out to the left and the right what they thought would never happen will unfold before their eyes still their pride will keep them from reaching for me their homes will be plundered and everything of value will be taken and they will watch it go they will be helpless in the hands of a ruthless foreign nation who will show them no compassion or mercy they will take everything that appeals to them including people for slave labor and trafficking if a godless nation is what you want to be then so be it i withdraw my hand from you you will suffer at the hands of those who hate you i have cried out to you day and night offering to relent if you would just turn away from your witchcraft idols and abominations but you would have none of my counsel you want to rule yourselves and i will show you the distinction between those who serve me and those who don't those who fear my name and hate evil and those who rebel against my word only a fool says there is no god the measuring line has been drawn and you have been found wanting america mene mene tekel a parson your kingdom is numbered says the lord i received the following confirmation immediately after this and i will tell you this i have never received a confirmation that fast where everything that was spoken about in this word were in these pages the lord does not want me to write them down or recite them he wants you to at your own leisure go and read amos chapters 5 through 8 